Welcome back to the channel guys, it's another spark point video, I want to talk about that today, the SRK token and um, yeah it seems like the chart is leveling out and uh, you know I did load up on some more spark point around these levels because obviously we are finding some support as you can see there very clearly alright so the thing I wanted to point out today is there was an announcement from spark point um, late last night i believe while i was in bed and there's going to be a new listing uh, on a centralized exchange all right so something like that maybe qcoin or binance or something like that but obviously going back to the roadmap we know that there is a second tier exchange coming soon um which which was listed i believe in the august roadmap all right so um obviously this is in relation to that so it might not be you know news as in like nothing that, uh, something that we've not heard before but it's definitely you know a step forward and um, obviously uh, if we read what the, the tweet says it says so August is looking to be another great month for Sparkpoint SRK stay tuned for more details all right uh, you know I know some people might have bought in at the top um, of Sparkpoint which is uh, unfortunate you know because uh, I would never recommend that you do that all right we want to be buying in low and we want to be getting out high or if you are holding you know if you're buying low and you are holding you know you can ride those downtrends and not really worry because you're still in significant gains you know like a couple of hundred percent up or whatever if we've seen obviously spark point is when it pumps it really pumps all right and so you know to go up like eight nine hundred percent almost uh, or, or just over and you know not realize some profits for me I mean that's not my strategy but if that's what you're doing that's fine because you know even if you you were holding out now you'd still be you know roughly about 300% in profit all right and that's even from the previous uh, all-time high um, over here all right so uh, yeah it definitely looks like it's level now it's bouncing around it could be a double bottom pattern there I'm not saying buy now, but um, it's definitely a better buy than what, what it was over there, right? Okay, so I'm actually considering loading up a little bit more just based on the fact that obviously I've spoken about uh, monthly roadmaps and uh, there's constantly going to be news dripped into, the, you know, the, the, the spark point following and that might cause some waves. You know, we've got a new uh, listing on System Coin recently. I, I said yesterday I expect the volume to pick up on System Coin, especially after was, there was a big bit of a dump off once they listed on there and it's quite normal to see something like that especially after a big pump you know it's like a buy the rumor sell the news kind of situation um obviously they've got um they're, they're spark DeFi now all right and i believe they've got some new partnership announcements that are going to be coming up in the fourth quarter of this year according to the roadmap so anywhere between october to december we can be hearing about new partnerships I believe they've also recently just hired a new um, marketing strategist um, onto their team. So there's going to be you, you're going to start hearing hearing about spark points soon, guys. Like new 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 money is going to come into this market. I personally believe so. It's definitely a long term hold. So you know it's definitely when when you see a coin like this and the way they're performing. They've obviously got a good business strategy. Like I say, going back to the monthly roadmaps, that's something that's interesting to me. Like, I like it when uh, a team keeps their investors informed. Like sharing, for example. One of the reasons why sharing, I believe they're being very successful and they're keeping their investors engaged and, 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 and stopping them from selling their bags is they're constantly keeping them updated. Updated, all right? If, you, if you're invested in a project and they're not, kind of giving you anything that like there's no announcements coming out there's no information the twitter's dead and inactive the telegram's dead and inactive sometimes people left it to their own you know devices and, and their own thoughts they begin to have doubts you know what i mean they they forget why they initially invested in a project and they end up um seeing small price movements in the chart and you know sometimes people cash out you know they get cold feet i've done it you know it's happened to me before several times do you know what i mean well with something like this and they're constantly keeping you updated with monthly roadmaps 
if you look at the roadmap, it's so detailed. There's so much in there. And, um, you know, you can look at, um, there's a video by JRNY Crypto uh, yesterday or, or late last night, maybe. He's he's a good person to kind of watch and kind of get info on Sparkpoint as well because I believe he's a he's, he's an advisor to Sparkpoint and um, he's uh, you know he's definitely getting you know getting updated on information probably before uh, other people before we get it sometimes maybe but um, he's personally invested and you know he seems quite genuine that he, he genuinely believes in the product and the project okay so. Um, yeah, I mean, don't be worried if if you got in up there, and and you, you're riding it down. Like obviously, it's the emotional roller coaster of of seeing your money decrease. It's it's not a nice thing to have to sit through, you know. Um, um, it's something that we've all been through, and you know, something that we can learn from. There's been times where that's happened to me, and then I've sold, and I've kind of like regretted selling because then it's recovered drastically and made new all-time highs. There's times when I've held, you know, downtrends and it's literally not recovered. And, you know, I've tried to be patient with it. And, you know, I've had to come to the realization one day that, okay, I need to get out of this. And, you know, it's not, it's not nice, but what you have to do is you have to wipe it out of your mind and kind of start fresh. Be angry. Nothing wrong with being angry about it. We are emotional beings. We're human beings. And, you know, that, that does happen, you know. And I don't think anyone will truly ever be able to conquer their emotions unless they're a psychopath. And, you know, we're not psychopaths, all right? So it is quite normal to to be able to. I know some people, they say, you know, you know, um, some people, they act like they're so uh, unemotional, unemotional and they're the best trader in the world. You know, um, we're human beings. We're not psychopaths. Some of us are, you know. <laughs> I'm not one of them, you know. So I, I can only speak for the... For the uh, the sane people, all right. By the way, if you are struggling with mental health, you know, no offense or whatever, but yeah, guys. I mean, that's it for now. Um, <laughs> kind of took a new turn the video, did, didn't it? But yeah, that's spot point. And um, you know, keep an eye out, guys. Uh, obviously, got a new exchange listing coming, and if it is a big exchange, you know, we can see definitely see a lot of volume coming in. We can see a lot of hype building up. You know, whoever this exchanges that's going to be announced i'm hoping it's a big one it could take uh it could take spark point to prices um beyond this and we may never see these prices again all right so it's definitely a good time to be potentially dollar cost averaging in um you know buying little bits at a time you know if, if you're not if you're not sure that there's more downside you could buy a little bit and then if it drops a little bit more you could buy a little bit more but i personally see it holding this level now um i could be wrong at the end of the day but um, the probability is is that we saw a big rise and we've seen a correction and it's leveling out and then we can see it go up again. Just like we saw over here, we saw a big price rise, a correction, a little bounce and then it leveled out, leveled out. Then we saw it come up again. I mean, I mean that, that in, in itself was a big move, right? That's about 160 to almost 200 percent, right? And then we saw it level out, level out. So this was like the accumulation phase. So this accumulation, then you get a breakout, you know, there's there's the fear factor over there and that whipped all the way back up. Then you get a dip and you get a breakout, all right, breakout of this, you know, so it says the chart's doing something new. You get the accumulation, you get the volume building up, and then what you do is you get a breakout, a breakout, cool off, and then you get the, you know, the big wave to the upside, and then you get the profit taken, all right? completely normal and you have to expect it that people are going to take profits not everyone's going to long-term hold it not everyone some people may want to long-term hold it but they you know they see the profit and they, they they just can't help themselves i mean me personally i can't help myself but take a little bit of profit you know or, or you know a lot of profit i should say in this case and um i bought back in with a, with literally i can't i'd have to work out the percentage but it's, it's a very low percentage of, of the profits that I took, all right, and I bought all of my spark point back for a fraction of the price. <laughs> I've just got huge profits just sitting there. Like I've got my original bag, and now I'm considering even adding more to the bag, based on the fact that there's going to be a lot of news coming out and the roadmap and the announcements and the you know the, the new exchange listing coming and the new partnerships that could be coming in 
in the, in the next few months even you know so by the end of 2020 this price might be just a thing of the past and by the end of 2021 if you are holding that long <laughs> sky's the limit guys all right so yeah um that's it for now um subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already like uh, leave a comment down below let me know what you think about spark point let me know what you're doing and yeah i guess i'll see you again in the next one